by saying, is there a cost to us? And as uh, President Trump initiated through an executive order uh, early on, as he was considering the issue of refugees, he challenged, he asked the State Department, Human Services, and other agencies to determine uh, the net cost of refugees to the United States of America. And uh, I'm happy to share this with you, but the fiscal cost uh, uh, was uh, analyzed with expenditures and revenues. And again, the conclusion of the Trump administration was that what state the are you talking about? Refugees and their non refugee spouses and children were a net fiscal benefit overall estimated at $16.9 billion. So, so, yes, uh, I, I believe that, uh, again, to my statement, it's a positive thing that, that we. Uh, bring immigrants to our country, that they benefit to us in terms of their work, their paying taxes. And the veterans that you mentioned, absolutely, uh, they have the same access to benefits uh, as any citizen would have or any legal resident of the United States. So it's a net plus for us. But the veterans, I think you talk to any veteran who served in Iraq or Afghanistan, and they would say, don't leave someone behind who cooperated and supported our United States military. <laughs> could we, the audience, could you hold down, hold down your uh, applause? Uh, I agree with that, too. I, I agree with that, too, if that is the case. But are, are you absolutely certain that is the case, that these refugees that are coming in actually assisted our military? Can you verify that beyond a shadow of a doubt? I have verified that with the acting Secretary of Homeland Security and with Secretary Pompeo's uh, Department of State uh, because they re they changed the priorities. I couldn't vouch for that under the previous administration. I can vouch for that because they have represented to me that these are the priorities uh, in. Uh, Relocating refugees to the United States. Okay. All right. We're going to go on to some other members that have questions. Uh, 